Okay, so you should have cut off the top part that says cut here. And then you're going to fold these like a window to the middle line. Okay, we are going to review graphing. So in order to graph, you always start with your y-intercept and then you do your rise over run from your slope. So let's look at the first one. It says, given the slope and y-intercept, we are going to graph. If we're given the slope and the y-intercept, we can graph it. We can also write the equation. Remember y equals mx plus b? So the equation to this line would be y equals 2x plus 1 because it's y equals mx plus b. So the first thing you do is your y-intercept. So you go to your y-axis and you plot a point at 1. Then you count your rise over run. So M is 2 over 1. So you're going to rise 2 and run 1. And you're going to go to the right. So rise, go 1, 2, run 1, put a point. Then do that again. Rise 1, 2, run 1. I want to get points all the way throughout my whole graph. So it'll be easy to make a line. So I'm going to go back to my y-intercept and I'm going to do the opposite. So instead of rising to, I'm going to go down to. Instead of going right, I'm going to go left. And it should fall in line with the other dots. And do it again. Go down two over one, down two over one. And then use your ruler. Make sure you line it up with all of the dots, right through the middle of each dot. And hold down your ruler really good. Do you draw your line. Then put arrows on that. Okay, let's go to the one on the right. So slope or y-intercept is zero. So it says that my y-intercept is negative four. So I'm going to write my equation. Y equals zero x minus four. Anytime you have a zero or undefined slope, you need to think back to either hoy or vux. Hoy is because it's a zero. So I'm going to write the word hoy. So if it's y equals a number, it has a zero slope, then it's a horizontal line. I'm going to rewrite this just as y equals negative 4. So horizontal, zero slope, y equals negative 4. So I know it's a horizontal line. where y is negative 4. So go to the y-axis, go to negative 4. And it's just a horizontal line. Okay, let's look at this next one, rearranging the form. So we have 2x plus y equals 3. In order to graph it, today we are going to just graph it by rearranging the form. 
we want to say y equals. So let's draw a line down our equal sign and rearrange it so it says y equals. So that means I need to get rid of this 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. So that cancels and we just have y equals. The 3 and the negative 2x, we can't combine because they are not like terms. So we just rewrite it so that it's mx plus b. So the mx is the negative 2x plus 3. So that's our equation. And with that equation, we have m is negative 2 and b is 3. Knowing m and b, we can graph it. So we start with our b, so start at 3, and then do our slope. Our m is negative 2 over 1. If there's nothing there, you would do over 1. So rise negative 2, run 1. So if I'm rising negative 2, that means actually I'm going to go down 2, right 1. Okay, so down 2, 1, 2, right 1. And then do it again, down 1, 2, right 1. Go down two, right one, and down two, right one. And then we need to get points on the other side. So we go up to left one, so it falls in line with the rest of the dots. And just remember, if it's a negative slope, it is going downhill, and this one is. Okay, the next part, given the graph, we're going to write the equation given the graph. So we want to find the M and the B, and then from there we can write our equation in MX plus B form. So we go to where B is. B is our y-intercept. So look at your y-axis. Remember, it's the one that's going up and down. And this would be your y-intercept. So our y-intercept is 2. So write B equals 2. M is our slope, so we need to find another perfect point so we can count rise over run. So where is another perfect point? Negative 2, positive 1, yeah. Or 2, 3. And then you look at the stair step. What is the slope? Huh? Up, one, up one over two. And this is a positive slope. Remember, puff, puff, positive. So it is one half. Then we write y equals mx plus b. So y equals one half x plus two. Okay, now with your table groups, you're going to do all the problems on the inside. Okay, so hopefully you've had time to work with your group to get it completed. So two that I definitely wanted to go over with you would be these two. So on these two, we'd need to solve. This is all about rearranging the form, so it says y equals. So we're going to draw a line down there, equal sign. We're going to rearrange it. So I need to move this 2x to the other side. And 
And we cannot combine them because one's an X and one's not. So we do minus 2X plus 6. And then we need to get rid of 3Y because it needs to say Y equals. So we're going to divide by 3 all the way through. Remember, you have to divide it all the way through, not just one. So then I'm going to rewrite it as Y equals negative 2 thirds X. That's my slope. And then 6 divided by 3 is a positive 2. So when we graph it, our M is negative 2 thirds and our B is 2. So we would do our y-intercept at 2, and then go down 2 over 3. I can't go down 2 and over 3 again, so instead I'm going to go up to left 3. That makes it where I can draw my line now. So we're going to do the same thing with the next one. So I need to move the 5x to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 5x. And I have 4y equals negative 5x plus 8. Then I divide by 4. I'm going to write my equation y equals negative 5 over 4 can't be reduced. I'm going to leave it just like that. 8 over 4 it can be reduced, though. So that would be plus 2. So my slope is a negative 5 over 4. My y-intercept is 2. So when we go to graph it, we will graph the positive 2. And then our slope, go down 5 over 4. So down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Connect your dots to make your line. Okay, so I think those probably were the ones that tripped y'all up the most. So you have those done. I am going to show you the other ones just so you can check your work. So here are the top two. So if you got it right, good. If you didn't, then you're going to have to go back and change it. Okay, and then here's the other side. So if we have a zero y-intercept, that means it goes through the origin. It's down 2 over 1. And then this would be horizontal line because it has a zero slope, so it's hoi. So we could just rewrite as y equals 3. It's horizontal line where y is 3. Okay, let's look at the bottom. We need to find our m and our b, and then write as the equation y equals mx plus b. So check those. Make sure you have those correct. Then you can glue this in your journal. And you have an assignment, but it's only one side today. We're going to finish the other side tomorrow.